today we're gonna turn eggshells and vinegar into acetone thinner. So first, we added our vinegar into a large beaker, followed by an egg. Calcium carbonate in eggshells react with acidic acid to form calcium acetate. Carbon dioxide gases is liberated during the reaction and it causes the foaming. After some time, we filtered the unreacted eggshells and obtained a clear solution of calcium acetate. We proceed to boil it down in order to obtain calcium acetate solid. It's still a bit wet, so we decided to put it in the oven in order to make sure that the salt we collected was all anhydrous. We then transferred the salt into a round bottom flask and constructed a distillation setup, performing the distillation in an oil bath. At around 300 degrees Celsius, calcium acetate decomposes to form calcium carbonate and acetone. We tried to look into the mechanisms of the reaction. However, there are some controversies over the underlying mechanism of the reaction. So we can't really go into a clear conclusion of what was going on inside there. After a while, some clear distillate was collected. It was quite clear at first, but as the reaction progresses, the distillate starts to take on a slight yellow-brown color due to the formation of some impurities. We believe the major byproduct form here is the aldo-condensed acetone, mesotyl oxide, but we're not 100% sure about that. So, if you have any idea, please let us know in the comment section below. So, to purify our product, we ran a simple distillation. This time, the product collected is a lot clearer. And that is our product. So what do we do with acetone? One of the funnest thing we can do with acetone is to dissolve styrofoam. A very small amount of acetone is able to consume styrofoam of many times its volume. We're not sure how you should end the video. So here's some relaxing music as you watch the chunk of styrofoam being destroyed. <laughs>